Frank, hard to believe it's been a decade since the Jets returned and they are ready to go into hyperdrive tonight. Opening face off just moments away. The Jets start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Spectacular score! Taken along the wall by Hagel. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got the puck. Moves it over to Perfetti. Takes a shot. That goes off a twig. And there's the save on the play. And there's another stop. He make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Lowry's great at leading by example. Every time he uses that born leader zone ability to get on the board, he gives his team such a boost, so the opposition needs to be aware when he's on the ice. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Feeds it up ahead. Shot misses over the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that, not good enough. Takes the pass. Slides the puck over. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Knocks the puck loose. Directed over to Paul. Strong defensive effort. The Lightning have gained possession. Here's a chance to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Great at making accurate passes, guys. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, and that's what helps him create scoring chances. Connor's wheel zone ability means he's so fast, even when skating with the puck. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. Perfect to stick handling in his own zone. The Jets gain possession along the wall. And a great read to turn that play aside. Oh, James, I just love how he created that scoring chance. I mean, he saw a little bit of... He's got a step! Makes the save! Oh, 
and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. And great hustle to come up with the puck. The Jets will play it in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Pionk. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Winnipeg's moving it up the ice. There's the whistle as the play was offside. In the final moments of this period, the Jets are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Kupari's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. He got all of that one. The Hans moving the puck through his own zone. Sends the pass over. Takes it at center. Fires it on net. Oh, what a save with the stick by Hillebuck. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Paul's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. From the left side, they gain the zone. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Tampa Bay's in on the offensive attack now. That's not going to fool them. Hellebuck's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Tries to feed it over to Paul. And he takes the feed. Counts over to make the save! Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck now. They fight for it along the boards. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Welcome back, everybody. James Sadowski with you. Period number two, the middle frame, ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Winnipeg's coaches will be loving that first period, James. I mean, it was a real impressive start. You can't script it any better than that. You dominated possession time. You executed, so it translated into offense. Now they got to find a way to keep it the same, push through the second, and try and put in a full 60 minutes. Morrissey's taking it from his own end. Pass to Shifley. Here's an odd man rush. And that pass attempt is deflected. Johansson's going to hang on for a whistle. We're still in the early stages of this period. 2-0 is the score. The Bulls come up with the defensive zone draw. Moves it to Hedman. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Moves with the puck at the corner. From the place 99 made famous. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Johansson. Here he is in close. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. With some open space at center. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the half wall. Big stop right there. Slides the puck to Niederreiter. Oh, he'll feel that one. Slides it up to Sorelli. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Morrissey. The Jets have been stealing pucks all game. And when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck. But they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. And it's a quick pass to Radish. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Great reach by Stamkos. Slides it up front. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Takes the feed from the wing. 
The Jets take possession here in the open ice. Fires it! Denied by the goaltender. And that skips out of the offensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Slides it to Sandberg. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Poked away at center by Radish. Here's a short pass to DeMello. And we got a stoppage in play as the whistle's blown. It looks like that pane of glass got busted from that shot. Whoa! It used to be that saying it'll make them like they used to, James. Well, in this case, it's all for the better as the glass, the technology is so much stronger and a blistering shot. You know that it's going to crack or spider the glass. But nowadays, you can just replace the pane. So we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it. Stars! Talk about swag on the finish with that one! He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, James. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time. A golden one it is, and he cashes in. He's in on a breakaway, and some guys know exactly what they want to do, and some guys take what's given. But what a shot that is. He had no chance. The Lightning have looked out of this one for the most part, but suddenly they're right back into it after that strike. They're able to cut their deficit in half, and they've stayed the course, James. The ability to be hard on the puck focus. They're pushing hard to get the equalizer. Receives the pass. Moves around along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to SMO. And he makes a save on that play. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The true North Strong in free time in Winnipeg. We gotta give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. The Jets have extended the lead to two now here in the second. Yeah, and sometimes as an athlete, you take a bit of a breather here, and sometimes that frees you to continue to play an attack, but sometimes it leads to complacency. You don't want to give any edge to your opponent when you have them down. Big time save by Johansson! I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Quick feed to Cheneau. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Hellebuck's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. And he loses control of the puck. And loses possession after a solid hit. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Ehlers. And he comes up with the save. Puck picked up by Cheneau. Quick pass to DeHaan. Here's a chance. Goalie with a stop. Morrissey's lugging the puck. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Stops him cold. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Both teams ready in here for the faceoff. Gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast. So don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Bullets really haven't played well for 40 minutes of play, James, and they need to change the mindset, refocus in this third period if they want to get back in this game. And it's going to start with puck retrieval, having some urgency around it to be able to get it and hold on to it. I mean, they haven't had any possession time. Slides the puck across to Connor. Centering feed! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. They score! And that's back to the goals! Well, nothing like switching the mention and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row. Back to back, here they come. 
hockey is a game of inches if the pass isn't on the tape if it's in your feet all of a sudden you're fumbling for it that gives the coverage time to defend you but this one it's right on the money and the goal is a result Winnipeg's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Up along the wing. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. One save and just enough of it. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Jets have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Tampa Bay's won the defensive zone draw. Gets the puck over to Sorelli. Here they come on the attack. Feeds the puck over. Tampa Bay's got scores! The captain delivers! The goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. The Lightning have to keep pushing here, Cheryl. It, that, it's just got to be as elementary as that, right? It has to be, and they have to make pop plays. Really push the pace, push the puck forward. Not go east-west, not delay and go back. It's all about attack right now. Morrissey's going to play it against the half wall. Stop that one. Grabbed along the board by Hagel. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed. Odd man rush. Reaches out and uses the stick. Lowry's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Oh, what a little beauty stop right there. Winnipeg's played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. Moves it to Barron. Takes a shot. Stops that one. Well, this is an uncharacteristic miss for him. I mean, he typically makes good on this shot and gives his team a boost in the arm. Not today, though. Billy shuts the door. Oh, they threw it again. Look at this attack here in the end zone. This group, the timeliness of the ball, the energy that he brings and encapsulates what he means to this team. Well, you can just see the infectious energy that goes throughout this entire lineup when he scores. That's a true testament to his leadership and what he means to this group. The Jets continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. The Jets have it from their own end. Moves it to the offensive zone. Tries to the crease, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Bolts have been terrible tonight. I mean, right from puck drop, right through the third period. They're staring up at the clock. They just want to get out of this one. The Jets gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Quick pass across to Mott. Now he takes it over the line. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. The Jets will play the puck from the back of the net. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. And that's off target as it hits a body. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. The Jets' top line is on the ice, and they've been the best on the ice tonight for their team. And they've contributed, and they found a way to get their team in the lead. Here's a shot, and it gets a piece of that one and denies it. The Bolts have it now. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hellebuck. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. 
The Jets have treated tonight like a shooting gallery and are in cruise control late in the third. Tampa Bay's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Oh, spectacular save on the play! Quite the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Who wins? Carlin Bain has her answer. Connors helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. Centering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Late goings of this period. The Jets have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. Sorelli's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. The Jets take possession in the defensive end. Winnipeg's regained possession of the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he gives it over to Sorelli. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Takes the puck at the point. The Lightning have it in their own zone. Pass across to Stamkos. Solid body contact. And he takes the dish. Scooped up along the wall by Schmidt. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Can't get a hold of that pass. There's the final word sounding, putting this baby to rest. This was a dominating performance tonight, Charlotte. They came to play, they skated, they went pucks on that, and kind of checked all the boxes here. They did, and the speed through the neutral zone was something that I really noticed. They were able to gain entry off of the rush, and that speed drove the play and got pucks to the net. That'll do it for tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.